Hey guys, this is Game of Cow playing Mario Golf Total Tour. This might not end well, I don't know. Currently it's take one, but who knows, this one might well go to more than one take. So, yeah, we are going to be doing the Peaches Invitational Tournament. I'm going to use Diddy because Diddy's the one in practice that I've done most consistently with, although all three characters I was considering I had decent rounds with, so yeah. I'm not quite sure how this one's going to go, and I'm not expecting myself to get a really low score, but you never know. So long as I try, that is all I can really ask for. Now if the wind wasn't against me, I would go for that shot, but yeah. Peach's Castle Grounds has a lot of random stuff, and there's a blue pipe over there if you care about that. I don't, but yeah. Basically, this course starts introducing lots and lots of Mario gimmicks. Some of them are unique to this course. The pipes are one of them. And the pipes will let you go, obviously, between the linked colours. Like, the yellow pipe is there. If you land in there, you will go into the yellow pipe, which is further along the course. That's just kind of obvious. So it would actually take you to roughly that patch right there. If you could land in the green pipe, that takes a bit of a longer drive distance, but that would get you right next to the hole. So that would be quite good in its own right. I don't really want to hit the one wood, I want to hit the three, and I want to hit it roughly here. Diddy has a high shot, I believe it's three bars above average. His draw is slight, it's only two bars, so that's quite easy to control. One step above Luigi and drive, and I'm going to retake that. Okay, that ought to do. And what else has he got? A uh, relatively okay spin, kind of average that way. His uh, control is pretty good. It's one bar above average, so yeah, good control. 207 yards is not a long drive, but it's long enough that I can deal with it for this. And he has a gigantic ass putter. Who needs a putter that size? I don't know. Also, he's got a very happy face there, with a Nintendo cap, as always. Yeah, all of the voice clips for Diddy and DK were recycled from Donkey Kong 64, which, that's not bad, it's just kind of, uh, kind of funny, really. And this hole introduces another new gimmick. Well, it might introduce two, actually. I don't think there was one on the previous hole. First off, you have the chain chops, which are kind of obvious over here. You hit into this, and it's out of bounds. The thing is, the chain chops sit in rocks, so if you are lucky and you bounce off the rock, you will be able to bounce through the chain chomp pit and actually survive the encounter, which is good. The second thing it introduces, which are further along the course, well, there's one there as well, mushrooms. Mushrooms are basically very, very bouncy trees. Instead of stopping your ball, they will just send them ricocheting over all over the place. Yes, over all over the place, that's a brilliant thing. Now, obviously, you want to avoid that bunker there. You want to avoid the fast fairway, because that's going to send you ricocheting into a bunker. With the way the wind is as well, this ought to be a good shot to make. Diddy doesn't really have a particularly exciting animation for his power shot, or his shot getting correct type of thing, which is a bit of a shame, but there's not much you can do about that. As you can see already though, the wind is starting to get a little bit more savage in these ones, and that does make it difficult, so... Yeah, it gets up to about 5 meters per second during this tournament. Why did I still backspin that? That's terrible control-wise. Oh, that's why, because it's still going past the hole. Duh! Just because you hit it poorly doesn't mean, you know, with the control-wise, doesn't necessarily mean that it's not going to go that far. Remember Diddy's control, so yeah. But, so far so good. The first couple of holes are great. I tend to be pretty good at the front nine on this course and not so good at the back nine. The back nine is very, very difficult for non-star characters, though. A lot of the holes are very long quite a bit uphill and it's it's just difficult to do. This one though, Mount Mario Moor is very very hard, especially, especially with a pin here. There's only one good position for the pin in this hole and that's up here. The pin can be over here, which is really freaking nasty, and well I'm just grateful that it's not this time. 
However, it's not in a nice position, and that massive hill there is going to make this very, very taxing. But I think this should be okay. It's going to bounce a lot off that hill. Maybe not, because I hit it too hard, but it's alright. It's not probably not going to be a birdie, because I think this has got a bit of a nasty break. Yeah, a little bit, look at that. It's going to go a bit to the right when I start, and then, you know, start the downhill, and then it's going to sharply go to the left. The thing is, that hole is, at, no, no, the cup is actually on, on the hill, so this is not easy at all. I'm going to play to the fact of the hill which is going, you know, to the break that's going to the left is going to be more influential, simply because it's going downhill. Such a big downhill as well, I think that will do. Watch it roll, oh yes, take a look at that, that was brilliant stuff. Played that pretty much exactly as you would want to. Maybe a little bit overestimated in the end, to be honest, but yeah, I'm more than happy enough with that. That was beautiful. To get a birdie on that hole is rare. Very rare. Now, on to the next hole, and you might be wondering, where the fuck are we? Because yeah, we're just staring at giant waterfalls over here. Well, let's just let the thing pan out. Yes, this is a very long par 5. The pin's in a good position, actually. But, you have to go through giant mushrooms, there's pipes, there's heath over there, there's a green island, pretty much. That's where we're aiming for. This is one of the few which I will show, because it's just epic. Look at that view. That is incredible. There's also no wind, which means I might do good at this one for a change. To get onto this green in free, you have to do some pretty skillful shots. There's no point in going for that pipe, because with this low drive, you're not going to get there. I'm going to hit the top of the ball, especially because there's no wind, because, you know, hitting higher means I'll get further up the hill, and that's exactly what I want. I do not want to be at this bit just below and just above my shot, because that's going to make it very difficult to get a club on the next shot, and I'm probably going to have to drill it into the hill. So I'm just going to aim for here. That should be good enough. You know, one unit less in the power, but Super Topspin should pull that right up, and hopefully my next shot will not be driven straight into the hill. Which... it... shouldn't be. Yes, it's not going to be. You can see it's given me a nice enough shot straight through the middle of the mushrooms. This has to pretty much be your second shot. And yeah, we're just going to hit that. Perfectly good. That's not going to hit a mushroom, and that's going to go to a good spot on that fairway which will line us up for a hundred and something yard approach. 113, not a particularly huge approach, and the pin is in the most favourable position here. It can be up here, which is a bit annoying to hit to, but this one, I'm happy with this pin position. This should be good. So we are going to hit that shot, and that, I think, will be okay. Here's hoping. Well, it's got the right camera angle, Oh yes, look at that, that is very very nice, and this entire bit around here is flat, so there is no issues with getting a birdie putt here. Very very good, 4-4, four four. that's better than any of the practice runs I've done, that's for sure. And I have done... I played this with Birdo first, I played this with Boo, and then I played it with Diddy. Wario was one I attempted, but Wario's a washout on this course, it's just far too uphill for him, and it, he doesn't work. Also, now we have cheap tubes. Cheap tubes do pretty much nothing to you. If you are going to hit the cheap tubes somehow, you're going in the water anyway, so they don't make a difference to your shot. This hole, you really want to be hitting to this green bit on the right hand side here, probably a bit further than I can reach, but with the way that hill is, that should be fine. The wind is also in my favour, because you want to be getting up there next shot. Don't hit down here, because if you hit down here, you're going to have a hell of an uphill task, and it's just not going to work. You need to kill some of that 28 yard uphill drive on the first shot. You're going to see this is still going to be difficult to make. This course is not short, especially not when you're playing non-star characters. So yeah, it's, it's tricky to get on greens in two, more so than it has been in previous tournaments. This one especially because it's so high up. 
I'm lucky in a way, you know, the reason I picked Diddy apart from the control is because his shot is a high drive and that height really does help for this course. Not quite sure I needed the backspin there because I undershot it, so this might not turn out so well. It's okay. I Oh, I should be able to make this. This isn't too hard a putt. It's got a break all the way up, but it is uphill, so the break doesn't affect it quite as much. That should go in. Okay, excellent. 5 for 5 so far. This is really good. This course is difficult, and it's going to get much harder as it goes along, don't worry. But with enough practice, I guess, and with enough shot planning, you know, good strategy, you can win, win out on this one. This hole, though, oh god. It's difficult. You've got, you know, a very... Well, it's not very small, actually. It's quite it's somewhat large for, you know, greens nowadays. It's... The problem is you've got, obviously, bunker over there, bunker down there. You've got water on all sides. And you have a ridiculous fast fairway over here. This fast fairway is evil. And you can see the way those uh, hill lines are. It's so, so easy. If you clip that fast fairway, you're almost definitely going in the water. So do your absolute best to avoid hitting that. This should be a good enough shot though. I've hit it with super backspin because there's a headwind. There's, no, it's not even a headwind, it's a tailwind. Yeah, it doubles your speed and stuff. Not quite, but it's... Oh. Yeah, it's, that's, that's where I wanted it to go. The super backspin obviously took it back and it's a not trivial putt, but it's a makeable putt. Hopefully. The hill is quite severe though, so I'm not quite sure if this is going to go. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Whatever, let's just hit it. Go! Yes, it's in! Just! Let's have another look at that. <laughs> it's creeping, it's creeping. Ah, I just made it in. Excellent! Six for six. We are going fantastically here. Let's take a look at the leaderboard, actually. We've got Luigi two holes ahead of us, four strokes behind. That's pretty cool. Uh, quite a lot of Mario character names up there, you know, the playable ones. There's Bullet Bill. How the hell is Bullet Bill playing golf? I mean, does he have his cannon there so that he can just blast into the ball or something? Who knows? Hey, Piantissimo! I remember you. You're that dude with the uh, mask and stuff in uh, Sunshine. <laughs> Plungella. Uh, Phantom Manta. I guess that's the name of the paper manta ray thing that was in Sunshine as well. Uh, Peach is doing awfully on her own course. That's kind of funny. Iron Belly. <laughs> Real Peach is doing worse than Peach though, so I, I don't know how that works. Uh, coconuts. I think I remember you as well. Uh, Leroy. <laughs> Leroy. Leroy is failing hard. Uh, you can't just dive straight into the course and expect it to work, Leroy. You've got to apply a bit of strategy for this one. And oh my God, it's a Toadsworth statue. It's a giant Toadsworth. This 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 freaking hole is awesome. Anyway, two-shot strategy again. The idea is to get as far along this bit as possible and then do a roughly 180-yard approach. Second shot type of thing. It's not really an approach if it's 180 yards, but you know, it's the second shot. That's what you really want to be doing. Obviously, if you have a slightly higher drive character, you can push a bit further out to there, which is okay, but I kind of don't. 173 yard, that's a decent enough approach thing to make. If I hit this as I expect, I'll use super backspin. So that is what we're going to do. I really, really screwed up the control though, so that's not going quite where I want it to. Usually this is an easy hole to birdie, but because I super backspun that, that's left me a hell of a long way away. And <clears throat> most of this green is flat, but actually this entire approach is flat. Huh, this might be makeable. Let's see if I can get the power right. Oh, you never know, this might just make it. Might be too hard though. No, it's made it! Brilliant! You know what I'm like with the power of those, I very very rarely get the power right, so... Just right, one bar higher and it would have gone overboard. So... Yeah, I am ecstatic with that one, that is absolutely fantastic. 
My target score for this, although it seems crazy at the moment because of how well I'm doing, my target score for this right now is about minus 11. Roughly the same as the last tournament. If I could get about the same as the last one, then I'd be happy. Yes, the back 9 is that bad. Anyway, this hole, I have never quite worked out exactly where I want to aim for this one, but looking at the wind, if I don't screw up the control of this shot, this would work. It's a bit risky because if I mess up too much, to the, if I hit it too late then it's going to hit that fast fairway and that's going to be nasty, but I want to try and aim for that corner as much as I can. That'll do, we've mishit it in the other direction, so it's going to go towards the rough actually, but because I'd hit it far enough, yep. If you are using a high power and high drive character, what you can actually do is you can actually sneak around the uh, left hand side instead of going the right hand side like I have, and if you take a look you'll be able to hit that fairway which is, you know, surrounded by the fast fairway up there. But that's not something I can do. Why the hell would you want me to go backwards that way? What I want to do, this is again short strategy thing, I want to aim up here. I want to get as far away from that uh, cliff top bit there as possible and the free iron, oh, will that make it? It's a bit risky, let's go with the forward. Now uh, the forward's even riskier to be honest. Uh, four iron, four iron will clear that quite nicely, the hill will take it and that is Fine, this is the advantage of using a high drive character. Somebody like uh, Diddy or Birdo or even Mario is good for this one, although Mario's control is a bit of an issue. Because from there my third shot can go to the green, and the green is quite a wide target so it's not a bad one to approach. Backspin because I hit that one bar harder than I expected, and that's going to look to be important. Oh, take a look at that. That was a beautiful approach. Let's have a look at that again. It goes up through the air, it lands on that hill, breaks exactly as I expected, maybe even a bit more. I think the wind took that very slightly. And yeah, that is a very, very simple birdie putt. Well, so far so good. I've not had a tournament in any of these where I've had eight straight birdies. I guess Diddy is just one of those characters I can use, eh? So yeah, 8 under, 8 holes, we're 6 strokes above um, a below Cataquack score and that is the important thing. Hole 9 is where things start getting difficult though. As you can see this entire hole is pretty much surrounded by stuff known as a cliffside. You hit down here, that's out of bounds. So try not to do it, obviously. My target area would be over here. This is a difficult thing to predict though because it's really not going to go as far as I would like and the wind doesn't fill me with confidence. There's also a flower patch over there just in case you're interested. You see if I hit to here it's a bit riskier because there's fast fairway all over the place but if I hit to here it might be a bit more beneficial. It's going to be a much tougher approach though, and this green is not easy. If I zoom into that, you can see it's there's a lot of hills on that green, and it's just not particularly great. So I don't really know exactly where I want to hit this, given the way the wind is. Because I want to make it here, but I don't know if I have to drive. Uh, decisions, decisions. Take the executive one, we're going to go for it. Oh, this might just make it. That is a good shot. It's looking likely. It's not giving me a zoomed out shot. That was clutch. As uh, Shadow Mario and Lucky7 have said. That, oh wow, that was awesome. So now I have an approachable second shot. This is tough though, because if you don't, if you hit the forward right now with, with the way it is, that's gonna take a bit of a nasty bounce off the hill, you know, it's it's not a nice one to do, but I can't really hit much else. Whatever, gonna hit this and give it super backspin just to stop it from bouncing too far, I hope. Please don't do something stupid. Okay, so it didn't even get up the hill, I could have done with not spinning that at all. Never mind, never mind, we are going to go with this approach, that's very slightly too far away, I kind of want to hit, um, hit there, I guess, we'll go with that, 
That's too hard, but we'll hit the top of the ball. That might work. Oh, very, very close. But that's okay. That is just 1.8 foot for a par. Very, very easy. There we go. And this is Diddy's par animation. He's like, yeah, I approve of that. I'm going to show my teeth off. Because that's just what Diddy does. <laughs> he wears a shirt that's far too small for him, and he shows his teeth off every time he gets something good. But that's fine. Hole 10, well, continues with the sky theme, and... Wait, hey, we've got no wind. That's good. First shot strategy, I want to hit to here, because that should bounce away from the... You know, past the mushroom, and it's good enough for a first shot. That might actually hit the mushroom, though. Ah, crap. Uh, please don't hit it too badly. Yep, see, that hit the mushroom, and as you could see, it bounced off it, but because it wasn't a clean... You know, it bounced off the fairway first, so it didn't really have much momentum to hit the mushroom with. I'm going to need to hit the one wood power here to get this on the green. This is crazy. But it is a 222 yard shot, so I'm not surprised. Usually I would like to be a bit further along before I hit that, because that would give me a cleaner approach rather than hitting over the top of the bunker. But you know, we've done very, very good with that anyway. That was an incredible shot. Jesus Christ, I could not have done better with that. Well, technically I could have, but you know. Like, it could have gone in if I was really predicting the hill, probably, but... Yeah, within three feet from there. That is incredible. Look at the roll on that. Wow. This tournament is just going fantastically so far. Of course, LP is cursed now that I've said that. It'll tell me that it's going to go awfully from here on out, but... Hey, cannot argue with 9 and 10. That is incredible. Hole 12! It's not even hole 12, it's hole 11, and it's raining. It's a gigantic Cooper. It has Cooper shells which do nothing because they're nowhere in the way. This hole is very tough. It's very easy to get an unfavorable bounce off of that hill and unfortunately careen off to the side, so... Ah, I don't know how I want to really hit this. I do obviously want to hit the top of the ball. I pretty much always hit the top of the ball with this uh, with this hole now because it just it screwed me over so many times with that uh, 19 foot uphill for you know bounces. So I really do want to hit the top. I really undershot that, so I'm gonna try and use the top spin to get it onto the green. That looks like it's worked and worked too well. But it's fine, it's a relatively flat green if the pin is in a good position like it was for this one. And that should go. Yep, it's in! It's really freaking in! We are doing amazing here! 66 birdie badges! That's... wow! 66! It's not birdie badges, it's best badges. But you know, considering I have 65 out of 66 of them have been birdies, I can call them birdie badges right now. So yeah, we have had 60 freaking 6 birdies in, you know, 5 and a half, well, 4 and a half uh, rounds right now. That is incredible. Really. Anyway, let's keep on going. This is a very long and pretty difficult par 5. It's pretty much impossible to get on in 2, so... Let's just lay it up nicely to get on in three. I have mishit that almost on purpose. I didn't mean to mishit it that much. I wanted to keep the power shot. But I mishit that pretty much on purpose so that... Yeah, we are getting quite lucky with the way that bounces off the of mushrooms at the moment. But as you can see, there's chain charms everywhere. You need three full-blooded shots to get there in uh, three strokes. So, tough hole. Very tough hole. My shot strategy is pretty much universal for this one at the moment, with non-star characters. Oh, come on, kick off that hill. Oh, it kicked off that hill. Look at that. That was amazing. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a very basic strategy. I hit to roughly where I did. Wasn't supposed to hit the mushroom, but, you know, hit to roughly where I did first shot. Go, you know, past the tree on this one and hit this approach from here. The pin is in, again, it's in a pretty good position. I'm getting quite lucky with pins today. The pin can be all the way up here, which is annoying to hit. I think it can be down here as well. So, yeah, we are getting quite lucky with the way the pins are dropping just now. But that's fine. Sometimes you need that in this sort of game. And let's see where this shot goes. 
Oh, it just bounced straight down off the hill. Let's have a look at that again, actually, because that was weird. It just kind of... Yeah, stopped moving. Yeah, it kind of just about rolled off that hill. But, you know, it's in a relatively flat area, and this... This is makeable. This is very makeable. Let's go to there, and I think that's in, looking at it. It is as well. We are doing perfectly today. There is just about nothing that, you know, wrong so far. So yeah, let's keep it up. Hole 13, however, goes back up above the clouds, and it kind of sucks. The wind is very favourable though, so I will happily take that. First shot strategy, it's a bit risky, but the first shot I tend to want to aim for here. And yeah, this is going to be a little bit risky, however. Do I go for it? What's the alternatives? Well, the alternative is I hit up here, and that gives me a very long and very, very downhill approach. It's the safer shot, but is it the better shot? That is the question. You know, I'm playing well enough at the moment, I'm confident enough that I can get this. I have a couple of bars leeway, it's even with the wind there, it's not a strong wind, so I have a couple of bars leeway. I think I can make this. I have as well, I think that should be good enough. Even with the control loss there, come on, make it, make it, make it, make it! Yes, it's made it! It's on that freaking thing of fairway, it's the best drive as well, hopefully we'll break that in the next call, next hole, but we made it! It's amazing, we're actually clearing everything at the moment. So yeah, the pin over here, not the best position, the best position the pin can be in is around about there, but it's still a good position for the pin, I might have to hit 4 iron power actually, because I want to get a lot of clearance on that hill. That hill is not really my friend. So, with that said, let's aim for roughly here, I think, maybe? No, let's go a bit further across, because I'm hitting the top of the ball. The wind is going to carry it slightly across, and the hill will take it the other way, so if I have this done right, it should be okay. I did overhit it though, but I think the backspin should take it round. So that isn't really what it's going to do, but it backspun off the rough, so that's good. Very good, and this is a pretty flat putt. So yeah, we are doing well with hitting the flat, uh, you know, flattish sort of areas, and not getting very much, you know, very many breaks on the ball. So we're hitting into very good areas on the green, and that's getting us very easy putts. Easy putts which are obviously going in, and we are now 12 under in hole 13. Fantastic. Okay, this hole. This hole is all uphill, 64 yard uphill, so even though it's a very short hole, very difficult to do. Short strategy for this one, drill it straight into here, pretty much. But doing that is the tough part. I've, you know, it's, the uh, Diddy is kind of unfortunate in where his drive is, and it's very, very difficult to get into there. So, we're going to have to come up with an alternative strategy, I think, because I don't think I can just drill that in. He's just not got enough drive. Because, I mean, there's that, but if I miss hit that, that's, uh, no, that's not worth the risk. For Forward's not even going to get there. So, what alternative strategies can we do? We can hit into this one, this is a very very safe shot, and that will take us, if you have a look on the right hand side, that will take us to that pipe up there. So this is pretty safe. We'll go with that, I think. Maybe even hit the one wood off of that, because the one wood's even... No, it's not really safer, to be honest. We'll go with that. Oh, missed the accuracy, but as you can see, that's not making a difference because we've hit it well enough that it's going in the pipe anyway, and we have made it to 200 odd yard up. It's still 26 yard uphill, but Diddy's high height makes it very good. The pin is in a very good position. Sometimes it can be behind the blue pipe over here, and that's really hard to hit, but this one, it should be good enough. I'm going to, once again, I think... No, that's not going to go far enough. I'm just going to hit the forward. And this should be okay, I hope. 
Not going to hit that with any form of spin because I've undershot it and there's the wind, of course it's going up the hill as well, so... Yep, excellent, excellent shot. Look at that, four feet away from there. That is brilliant. I've just... Wow, so far dominated this. Don't worry, there is hard holes left to come yet, uh, 69 best badges. Yep, there's difficult stuff yet to come, but, you know, very, very comfortable. This hole is awesome, and I really like it. It's difficult to get on in two, because the green is very narrow away on the... You know, in the direction you have to approach, the green is really, really nasty. Also, if you are very good with this, you might just be able to clip that fast fairway and go all the way down. That is my intention. I don't actually mind if I don't clip it, but it would be very nice to do. Oh, that was beautiful! Watch this fly all the way down that hill. Check this out. This is going to be great. Kicks off the fast fairway. Super freaking top spins all the way down that fast fairway. Right down to the bottom, 306.99 yards. We are awesome. Kind of leaves us with a bit of a tricky approach though. Six iron power will do this quite nicely. We're hitting the bottom of the ball. Don't have too much leeway for error, but it's a very high shot, so the wind is going to take it a bit, so that's all good. Ah, missed the accuracy though, so that's why I've not hit that with any sort of backspin, but I really should have because that's going to kick off the fast fairway. But you know it's actually still on the fringe, which is really good. And this is makeable. Again, it's like the other two which I've done today. It's not the easiest putt ever, but it's makeable. Let's aim for there. Because I'm on the fringe, I need to hit that a bit harder. I think I've gauged it right, you know. I have. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I cannot believe this. Am I seriously doing this well on this freaking tournament? Unbelievable. Don't rest yet, however. The three hardest holes are all saved for last, and this one especially is freaking annoying. My general strategy is to try and hit onto the you know, front of this fast fairway and super backspin it so it doesn't go down the hill. Because as you can see, there is a creek over there, which is not good to hit into. You don't want your ball to roll down here. Of course, once it starts, it's very difficult to stop bowling down there, so... Yeah. Oh, perfection! This is what's, this is why we're doing so well today, I think, because I'm hitting these balls so, so well. But yeah, it does a really big bounce off of that. Because I used the, uh, hit the top of the ball, that should be okay. That's actually not really a particularly great position, but I think it'll work. Yeah, I'm going to hit the mushroom if I do much else, but I can use the one wood power. That should be alright, I think. Yeah, well, if I hit this perfectly, I can super backspin it and it'll stop pretty much dead. Oh, I tell you what, that is close. That is close, and as you can see, it's going to bounce off the green. The green has got a good bounce, so that's fine. And stops dead before it does anything, like go in the bunker. And there we go. Beautiful. 15 under, hole 16. This is unbelievable. This beats my best record so far for this one, especially in one sitting. I, I have done better when I've been using uh, star characters or even my custom characters. I think the best I've done on this course, probably about minus 20. But that's with star characters, so yeah. Anyway, Rainbow Hole. This one's excellent on coin attack, actually, because you've got coins all over the freaking place, and it's great. As an actual hole, though, it's very difficult to play, so... Yeah, the big reason is that 43 yard drop, which is not going to be good. Thing is, it makes your it makes the shot much harder because the wind is going to carry it much more, your ball is going to bounce much more, and it's just dangerous, very very dangerous. Getting a birdie on this hole is excellent as well. But with the way today has been panning out, they you know, could not go wrong, could I really? It's gone to the absolute perfect place just below the excellent, uh, excellent thing. I need to talk slower sometimes, we all know that. And there we go. That is perfect. Really absolutely perfect. That is the absolute best shot to play on that, that um, hole. Cannot do better than that.
Now, for the final hole, it's obviously at night time again, there's fireworks, it's epic, it's difficult, it's a par 5 again to finish off the round. This is the third course in a row which is finished with a par 5. Who cares, it's awesome. The thing is, I can't hit any of the pipes because I do not have the drive distance for that. You have to hit three pretty much perfect shots with non-star characters if you want to get on in three. So here my strategy at first is to go as far along as possible so I can get a good shot for the next one. That is perfect, that can go no wrong with that, you know, go nowhere wrong. And the wind is going to be against us the whole time, it's not very good. Clearly I can't make it all the way over there because it's 270 yards yard away, I don't have that sort of drive. However, the second shot you want to hit is... Ah, that's, that's not going to reach. The second shot, ideally you want to be aiming somewhere over here. I, I can make it to here, so I think I should be okay if I hit this well. I uh, missed the accuracy, but it's missed in the right way, so it's not going to clip the fast fairway. First, it might roll onto it, but it's not going to clip it. Not even. And then, 159 yard uphill thing. The pin's in a very good position. Once again, the pin, the pin has treated me extremely nicely today. Quite often, it's up the top here, which is annoying to hit. This one is actually kind of in the center of this little circle. You can see, in all directions, the hill is going towards the middle, so... Yeah, this is a very, very favorable pin position. So I can hit this. Super bank spin because I hit it slightly hard. And this is the third shot which is going to take it onto the green. The super bank spin. Oh, go on, go on. Oh, that would have just ended the round on an absolutely perfect note. That would have been the round in a nutshell if that went in. But as it stands, exceptionally close. That, that. That just sums up the round, really. That shot was perfect. Within two feet. Within one and a half feet. That shot, beautiful. And that ends, the, I believe that is the best round so far. And here is me saying I wasn't expecting to play as well. Jesus freaking Christ. I can't believe it. I flat out can't believe it. I have never done that well in a tournament on this course. Diddy, you are amazing. 18 strokes ahead, look at that scorecard. Like, wow. Only, well, technically all of them had putts. You know, the chip in one was a putt chip in, so only one putt per hole. Only one hole, I, well, two holes I didn't get on in regulation. One I was on the fringe, so that was, you know, a birdie there. That was textbook. That is absolutely the perfect round on that course. Barring, of course, the one par, but details. It was only really because of where that first shot went, but superb. Well, I am now very glad I have started this project, you know, because I get to do awesome stuff like that. However, the next course, oh my god, the next course. I might do well on it because I did well in the previous practice round I've had on there, but oh sweet Jesus, it's going to be nasty. Yay, we've even got all the fireworks and stuff in the background as well. That trophy looks pretty cool. And look at Diddy, he's so happy with himself. He's somersaulting and everything. He's brilliant. Look at him. He's just so freaking pleased with that. And so he should be. Seriously, that was incredible. Can't stress enough how good that was. So let's have a look in the records actually, because I really want to see just how the um, thing went with that. Minus 17, score of 55 on Peach's Invitational, that's amazing. Uh, always on the fairway, 100% of that. No, no rough shots to go with there. Uh, obviously 100% passe, I was par on, so I believe par on is the green in regulation one. So because I missed two greens in regulation, yeah. Under par 94.4% of the time. There isn't even any possibility of a sand save because we never hit the sand at all. We never hit anything except fairway in this entire freaking thing. Best round ever. Anyway, with that done, what are we going to do next? Well, we are going to do a character match. And the next one is, ironically, against Diddy. 
So, this is being Game Account playing the most amazing round of Mario Golf Total Tour ever, and join us next time when we go and character match Diddy. Should be kind of interesting because we've just played phenomenal with him, so how is he gonna treat us? Who knows? Find out next time. Take care, guys.